the Norman A. Blushman Regional Day School is part of Bergen County Special Services School District. We work with students ages 3 to 21, and they all have multiple disabilities. However, here, we like to think of them as differently abled. Okay, use your pointer finger to stay on track. Good girl. She's using her counter. When she gets to the number five, she knows to stop. I teach the secondary ed students, and they range from ages from 18 to 21 years of age. So technically, I am like their high school teacher. These are cards that we um, package up, collate, and get ready to sell to our school community and outside community. This what we do at the Career Awareness Center is one of the most unique things we do. We make um, greeting cards from original art. They use the same art to make pads. Together. The student had to take the card from a pile and do the best that she could in folding it and then assist her over, hand over hand on making the crease in the card and then passing it back to me to pass to the next student. I need a stand tall, reach high. Let's find a purple. I'm a physical therapist here at Bushman. Come on, stand and reach. Reach, reach. The cards are created by the collecting um, pictures that kids draw here at school and having the kid touch the picture. Um, we can write words in, they can use a pen. They get a chance to touch the item, to visually see the item, and then have it all come together. We use the integrated therapy model with our little ones so that we can have them practice their physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy, along with classroom um, goals and objectives. Our school is different from other schools because it enables our kids to work individually on what they can do, how they can be the best that they can be, while also working cooperatively with others. Um, but it's really individualized and it focuses on them, their strengths, and whatever their weaknesses are, building them so that they can then become their strengths. So, Abby, what kind of picture are you drawing now? I'm drawing the water. You're drawing the water part? I was working with Abigail who's one of our higher level students and she has aptitude cerebral palsy and she was working with a trackball that's attached to her computer and the trackball works kind of like a mouse and a joystick all in one and she operates it with her chin. Two weeks. This took you two weeks to make? Yes. Very nice, it's beautiful. And what she does is she moves the trackball and she picks out different colors and then she holds on to that color that she's picked out and brings it kind of like a pen to a place on the, on the computer where she wants to drop the color. And then she uses the trackball as a paintbrush. That's Abigail's self-portrait that she has there. It's very amazing what she's doing. Uh, <laughs> it's just a dream come true to work with kids like Abigail. Uh, she's su such an engaging, wonderful, happy person. and. Um, it's the reward aspect of working with somebody who tries so hard and gives so much of herself. It's like uh, being on vacation every day and having uh, somebody taking care of you, not me taking care of her. Um, you learn so much from working with kids like her. You will show these people what you're doing, okay? Ignacio took Abigail's painting and now he's going to create a card and you can see uh, he's already transferred it and now he's going to complete it. They're learning technology skills and they're able to uh, perhaps use it for social purposes, hopefully for work purposes as well. What would you like to buy? A card. Mm. One quarter, please. Very good. You can pay Millie. Pay Millie. I think that overall it makes the kids feel very, very special, empowered. Um, they realize that they can do things, perhaps differently, but things they thought they couldn't ever do before. Who here goes out into the community to a job? My goal for my students is to give them um, as many opportunities and experiences that they can carry over so that they can be successful in a post-21 setting. Lucas, why don't you give an example of an appropriate way to show up to school and work? Lucas has been here since he was three because the school district that I come from did not have a program for him. Now Lucas is 17 he'll be, and he'll be here till he turns 21. 
Lucas loves coming here. They push him to his limits and beyond that. And uh, because of that, Lucas has grown to eat and to walk. I love the school. I, I would fight my town if they took Lucas out of this because I, I wouldn't see he would not do well in any place else. Thank you, Lucas. Thank you. Our staff is the finest. Um, they are dedicated, they are motivated, and they are second to none. Oh, you're doing wonderful work. Uh, some of our students feel trapped in their bodies and people tend to forget that they can hear and they can understand what's going on. So when you get the response, you know that they're hearing, you know that they're understanding, and it's wonderful. They're truly an inspiration to us. Thank you.